Hey y'all, Darren here, hiking again. This time before we go hiking, we're visiting the Knock, which is about an hour away from the Standing Bear Farm Lodge or Hostel. And so we decided to come explore this area here. We're gonna check out uh, a couple of different spots. All the locals seem to have their own favorite area. There's some waterfalls that we can see. Biggest plan is to see Max Patch. So we'll definitely do that little hike today. Weather permitted, it's a little rainy out. But yeah, we're checking out this uh, this little foot trail here next to this river. And uh, stay tuned for more. Here we are at the infamous bridge. We are technically on the Appalachian Trail in this moment as we walk across the river. All right, y'all, and I'm sure this won't be posted on the actual day, but today is 4th of July. To everybody, happy Independence Day. Hope you're safe, hope you're well. Just uh, hope you're being good. Some rafters. Right. Woo! Spin move. Alright y'all, on our adventures here, we've just come across this place and we decided we had to stop, so why not? It only cost us 50 cents each to ascend this nine-story tower. And look, I see a black bear. <laughs> Let's see some of these views. Alright y'all, we have made it now to another destination. We are at the Standing Bear Hiker Hostel Farm. We're not really sure what it's called exactly. Cute little babbling brook here that goes through the property. We're going to check out all this stuff here. And the weather's looking perfect today for a hike to Max Patch. We might actually tie in a little sunset if we can manage that. We have to see what the weather looks like and, well, the logistics of going down the mountain after seeing Max Patch and seeing the sunset. I'm not sure how thrilled I am to do a 0.7 mile night hike severe downward uh, elevation change. But maybe that's part of the excitement this weekend. We'll see about that. All right, y'all, so we've ascended the top part of the treehouse. This is a double-decker little area. Just basically enough room for a bed. A little fan in here. Not too bad. It's going to thunderstorm, so I might find myself sleeping right over here because I have actually a tent site because the downstairs is occupied by somebody else. So my mom's got the bed here, and if it starts raining too hard, I might escape and come up here. We'll see about that. But this is pretty great. All right, y'all. Out of breath and almost there. I forgot my phone. Who does that? So I had to go back in my phone. Race back to get back up here. Spooky clouds above us. Might get rained on, might not. A little thunder in the distance. Probably not smart to be on a bald at this point. Well, I think we'll be okay. Keep a vigilant eye, but it's great.
top now checking everything out it's beautiful up here I'm sure you saw in the just a brief moment ago the bugs oh man the bugs are out in fierce numbers right now but on top of this bald just enough breeze oh my god it's so pretty so pretty there's so many people out here camping tonight uh, I think it's gonna be a thunderstorm tonight but I'm camping too at the Standing Bear Farm. So we'll see how that ends up. But my tent's already set up and everything. Return to that at some point this evening. Hunker down. You can see the rain in the background and the hills and the mountains. And I'm on the Appalachian Trail. They're salty. Views all around, incredible. All right, y'all, we made it back from Max Patch. We barely got rained on, if at all. Actually got rained on more going from the car here to Standing Bear Farm, where we're at now. Right outside the kitchen here. Do a short little tour, maybe. So behind me is just a little hangout area little plot spot for a fire there and then behind me now is a bunkhouse i think they have 14 bunks actually and um i am in the bunk tonight with the threat of rain overnight i decided to upgrade from the tent site to the bunkhouse for a couple extra dollars and uh looks like my tent actually held up because i put my tent up before we left for max patch and then it rained really really hard so tent looks pretty good um i guess that'll help me when i'm on a hike next time when it starts to rain so but tonight bunkhouse 25 dollars it's good to go i think we're gonna have some pbr we're gonna have some hot dogs and chips and that's gonna be the end of the night all right so looking this way this is the kind of the back entrance to it and there's some parking back there for people here on the right is the showers also uh the personal residence of the folks I believe that stay here and run the place, or at least help out. This is the bunkhouse again. We got Salty drinking a PBR. Got ourselves a six pack tonight. And um, yeah, we're gonna, like I said, sit back, eat some hot dogs and chips, and now we're gonna drink some beer with it too.